In this video, we're going to look at the idea of a contestable market. So this is a market in which firms can enter or exit without cost. There are no unrecoverable sunk costs. If a firm is earning positive economic profit, rival firms or new firms could enter the industry with a lower price, taking the entire market share and earning an economic profit. So the key insight here is that the threat of entry by rival firms may force the incumbent firms, the firms already in the industry, to act more competitively. So it's the threat of entry that is creating increased competition. So competition is not only a function of the number of firms in the market, but a function of the number of potential firms who could easily enter the market without cost. So let's think about a contestable market and a natural monopolist. So a natural monopoly is a firm with a downward sloping average cost curve throughout the relevant range of the market demand curve. If the firm operates where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, acting as a monopolist, the firm will make positive economic profit, and this may provide an incentive for new firms to enter the market. There's a profit opportunity after all. The new firms could enter the market at a lower price, make a profit, and then leave. The new firms' entry and exit are costless. There are, again, no unrecoverable sunk costs from entering or exiting the industry. The new firm could temporarily, for example, rent some generic office space and some computers and then quickly get out of these rental agreements upon exit from the market, again, with no unrecoverable sunk costs. So let's look at a numerical example. We're going to have a contestable natural monopoly. The firm in the industry faces the following market conditions, inverse market demand, and the firm's cost structure is given as follows. From this cost structure, we can calculate average cost, the cost per unit, by dividing uh, C by Q. So if the firm is not concerned about potential entrants and acts as a monopolist, it's going to just produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Marginal revenue in this case, uh, the simple way of getting it is just take this inverse demand and have a slope that's twice as steep. And then set that equal to marginal cost, the derivative of the cost function with respect to output. Solving for Q, this firm will produce 250 units. Plugging the 250 into the inverse demand, it'll set a price of $150 per unit. So here's a firm that is not concerned about entry. If the firm is concerned about entry, same setup. The firm can only keep out entrants if there are no above normal profits or economic profits to be made. And that can only occur when price equals the cost per unit, price equals average cost. So setting the price equation equal to the average cost equation, and we're going to solve for Q. So 200 minus 100, we've got 100 on the left-hand side. Multiplying both sides through by Q. Then I'm going to multiply everything through by 5. we got a quadratic equation. And Q equals 400. At 400 units of output, the firm would be making a normal profit. One thing to note, price will be greater than average cost if the output is between 100 and 400 units. Uh, the average cost curve is completely downward sloping, so it's intersecting the demand curve at two spots, sort of on the, in the, the northwest region of the demand curve and then the southeast region of the demand curve. So we want to pick the, the greater quantity here. And the price, plugging this 400 back into inverse demand, we get a price of $120. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.